Yeah, Tim can get in with me. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, let, well, let's get him. Well, let's open. We'll open with Tim. Come on. Are we ready to go? Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Pulse of Brattleboro. As you can tell, it's Gallery Walk Friday, but, but we had to come down to Marinaville because it's just too much fun down here. We got Ian and Tim from WTSA, and they put on a good show. So, uh, Tim, let's see. What's going on down here at Marinaville today? This is the ultimate party, our fifth anniversary of Marinaville, where every Friday night during the summer, we invite listeners down to win some great prizes. Somebody just got uh, tickets to next week's New Hampshire International uh, NASCAR event in Loudoun. Uh, at the end of the summer, we're giving away tickets to a cruise, four days, four nights in the Bahamas. How about that? That's unbelievable. Now, is this the cruise where they get to go to listen to some famous person sing or something? Yeah, this will be a concert uh, at the uh, part of the cruise, and past concerts have been Dave Matthews bands, great bands like that. Well, anyway, you heard it right here. Come on down, sign up for this good stuff. Maybe you win the cruise. Listen, I thanked you earlier, and I want to do it now on the air. Uh, I want to thank Tim and the coach um, for doing all the sports that they put on the air down there at TSA, which uh, for a guy like me, I can't always travel and catch all the kids and what they're doing. Um, but you guys do a great job. And uh, how long have you been doing that, Tim? You, you and the coach have been doing that for a Man, 15, 20 years? About 15 years, and uh, we've done it uh, separately in, in, at various places. But frankly, uh, if you want to hear that, that sort of thing on the radio, uh, make sure you, uh, you sponsor it or support people who have sponsored it because that's what pays the freight. Cash, unfortunately, is king, even though uh, information is king. Well, very good, and uh, let's go have ourselves a heck of a marina, Bill. Woo-hoo! Party on! Hey, thank you, Tim. So right there, folks, we're going to be we're going to give you a little bit of what's going on down here. Uh, I got my senator from the Northeast Kingdom running around here, too. We'll get him. And of course, you can't have a Pulse of Brattleboro without a local senator from right here. OK, I'm going to try and get him on. He's really a busy guy. He just came back from another trip, but I think we can get him. Let's see. Oh, hey, there's our local senator right here. Senator! Hey, how are you? How's the campaign going? Well, uh, you know, one's getting out and about and talking to people a bit, um, as one should. Yeah. Uh, is it nice, though, to kind of relax a little bit, be in the campaign season, just be back home and, and uh, you know, go out? Because this was uh, quite a session for you. It was your freshman session. Um, but you, uh, you were very active. You did a lot of stuff that I liked, anyway, uh, with the Velcro lines and... And uh, what's the other one there? You did the merger, and then you guys came down uh, as a committee. You did a lot of good stuff. So, what are you looking forward to campaigning and uh, this next year when you get back? Well, I think it's. Uh, I mean, the, the wonderful thing about a campaign, and I'm glad there's going to be a primary election. The wonderful thing about it is, you know, it's a chance to get out and meet people, and, and frankly, for people to. Hold you accountable. There were things that I said I would do when I ran 2010. Uh, I, I said I'd want to bring a greater economic focus on Wyndham County. I got the economic. I served on the economic development committee. I got it down to Brattleboro twice, thanks to Senator Lucy. Uh, it was really. It was, you came down twice. You did listen. People really liked uh, the results. Too. We had, we had uh, something like uh, 30 witnesses at our second hearing, maybe 60, 70 people in, a, in attendance. And then money was earmarked. We addressed some problems. Now, the resources of the state are, are limited, but we want to make sure that Montpelier knows we're here. And there were other things that we accomplished. Actually, one of the other very important bills, what I co-sponsored again with Vince Aluzzi, is going to bring broadband coverage throughout Wyndham County by the end of 2013. Some of it's starting now, and it is the single most important thing we can do, with, we in Vermont can do for our economy, because you know we're a wonderful place to live, we have great services, we have a great sense of community, we care about each other, but people need to work and they need to have 21st te century technology to do it. And you're very aware of that because you're out in Townsend where you don't have it. Well, I, I'm running an international business from Townsend using satellite and frankly, 
and without cell coverage. Sometimes I have uh, uh, the Prime Minister of East Timor was uh, one of my clients. He couldn't understand that he could call me from any place in the poorest country in Asia and couldn't reach me in a place that, you know, to his map looked like it was right next to New York City. Yeah, my, my daughter went to Tanzania and she could get coverage all over the place and I can't get it on 91. Right, and that's, that's part, but that's something we're changing and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. That's good. Well, listen, uh, thanks for serving and uh, we'll be in touch, I'm sure. We'll, uh, you know, we'll be uh, seeing you around, I'm sure, and good luck again in November. Th thank you. I, I, good luck in, in November, but I have to say there's also a primary on August 28th. we got Mary and uh, Jeanette and that's right. So, so we want to, you know, it's going to be a, a quiet primary because uh, there, there isn't, uh, the, you know, there aren't some of the major races that have happened. It's important for people to to get out and vote and, and make, make some choices. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you for all you're doing for the community and, and for your support, but, uh, which is really very much appreciated. You bet. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Joe, I think uh, now what we're going to do is uh, maybe we'll talk to a few other folks and see what's going on. Um, a couple of things, though, folks, that I want to tell you about. As most of you are aware, I'm part of the Wyndham County Heat Fund. And as most of you know, the Diamond Stones just had a major fire. These are people that have lived in this community for a long time, okay? I know his politics are probably gonna, you know, for some people it's not right there, but these are community members of our community who need our help. So the Wyndham County Heat Fund has started out a fund called, and what you need to do is if you would like to give, because um, we wanna try and, and do a house raising party. We wanna try and raise some funds get some people to volunteer. Let's get them a little house back up so they can live. Um, we got a long way to go, but hey, start somewhere. So what the Wyndham County Heat Fund's gonna do is we're gonna be the bypass thing so that all the donations, you send them to the Wyndham County Heat Fund, on the bottom, put Diamond Stone Fire. That money will go right to the, that account and we'll see what we can do. They really need the help, folks. So let's, uh, I love living in this community. And this is the reason why. It's the way we take care of each other. We're not a rich community, but we help each other out. So whatever you can do, okay? And I know a lot of you out there don't have a lot, but just think about this. Think about you just lost everything. And I think you'd want your community to come and be there for you. So let's see what we can do. All donations, 100%, will go to the Diamond Stones. So Wyndham County Heat Fund, Diamond Stone Fund on the bottom, go to the Brattleboro Savings and Loan, drop your check off there or your donation there, or you can send it to 679 Weatherhead Hollow Road, care of Richard Davis, Guilford, Vermont, 05301, okay? Thank you, everybody. We really appreciate that. Okay, so let's uh, talk to the senator that's here and about again. Coming down to my name. This is gonna be quick, Pete. He's heading out. Oh, are you going downtown? Okay. All right. We'll see you. All right. Take care. Um, I like that. Yeah, 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 he does a great job. He does. He's, 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 it's an up and down thing down here. But, you know, it's, uh, I just think he's got the knowledge, know how. You know, he's kind of reminds me a little bit. He knows how to get some things done. Um, so listen, and I've already said this before, I don't want to go over the same stuff again, but let's get him. For the people I didn't watch last time, I'm with Senator Vincent Luzzi from the Northeast Kingdom. Uh, he is running for state auditor. Uh, he's got my support because when I was in the legislature, Vince and I worked together a lot on a lot of local issues for Brattleboro and actually up there too. But um, and I just want the folks down here to be familiar with this guy. So uh, you got a few seconds here. Well, first, I want to thank you for letting me be on. I am very uh, enthusiastic about Brattleboro. Uh, we came down. Get you some down here, I think. Well, I think it's great, but uh, tonight I can down here and it's lively. People are happy, and I think they've made a real transformation from the flood in uh, August last year. So I'm excited about that. We've spent a lot of time trying to direct state resources to the community: the Route 30 corner, Flat Street, Brattleboro, Tri Park. And uh, I think some of it's uh, actually working. We're getting the message out that Brattleboro is open. 
it's a good place to visit, a good place to do business, and, uh, and, I, and I'm very pleased to help get that message out, not only around the world, but around and across the world. Well, I've heard from a lot of people, so personally uh, from them, I want to thank you for the work that you have done. Um, because your committee did. You came down, you didn't just come down and, and show yourselves and leave. You came down, you listened, and you put what you heard into action. Uh, and that means something to folks that need help. Yep, we did that. We came down on March 30. We actually acted on legislation. You know, we passed an industrial hemp bill that's going to move us a step closer to legalizing the growth of industrial hemp in Vermont. We deferred about $500,000 worth of payments at Tri Park so they can get back on their feet and uh, really start to rebuild the infrastructure that was damaged. We've directed resources to Flat Street. We're hoping to make grants to help really market the area. You know, I think one of the things about downtown Brattleboro, it's like a hidden jewel. Uh, we have to get signage to get people downtown. We've been talking about that, and when I was on the board, we wanted to do it, it was like 25000 for some signs. I was like, wait a minute, we got local artists. I think we can do it for a lot cheaper, so I think we're going to work on that, because that has been one of the... I, I, I know you're up. big on signs, because I now, whenever we go to a roadside marker, and when I was in, of course, Bob Wood was big, and he always used to talk about your markers, because that was right. a bunch of music. All the historic markers, we restarted that program, yeah. and now we... Um, Put up new historic markers. These are the green nice with the one. gold seal on top, right. and yeah, it, it's forever. it helps to identify Vermont history, which is rich. Should which be I identified. Love. I yes, that. I read them. You know, I mean, I do. I can buy it. I want to see what that's all about. So right. listen, before I let you go, uh, I want my uh, the, the, my viewers' votes. I'll get them all. Let's well, get some of them. Uh, ask me for your vote. Well, I have uh, I've been in the state senate for 32 years. I'm also the Essex County State's Attorney, and I think uh, combined, combining the experience from, from those two positions, I think I would do an effective job as auditor looking at how programs perform. And that's what the office is really key and adept at doing. I think I can do it well. The financial audits are important. Those are contracted out to CPAs. Uh, financial firms, but to look at programs and make sure they're functioning and functioning well is what I would focus on as state auditor. And I hope that I, I could get your support. I'd like to do well here in Brattleboro. A lot of folks have told me to save my gas money and not go down to Brattleboro uh, because I am a Republican. But I've independent minded one, and I've been telling people that. And, and I and I think I, we know that anyway, Vince, because to be honest with you, I think most people know that I'm not really a I don't go Republican very often, but seriously now, we're talking about Vermont, okay? We're talking about a guy who's very independent, but coming from the Northeast the Republican label, and it serves you better. Yeah, and I'll tell you, uh, there have been a lot of good Republicans in Vermont history. Sure Ernest well, Gibson. Gibson. Well, thank you, but You're before right. my time, Ernest Gibson, George, yeah, George Aiken. Another right. one that's still around here is uh, Robert Gannett. Robert Gannett um, in Woodstock, Frank Billings. Uh, and then, uh, uh, just been a number. Uh, Art Gibb in Addison County, all great I work with a whole bunch of people. that I really like and respect them a lot. Sometimes we are on different sides on some issues, but in Vermont, a lot of times, that it doesn't matter. Right. We do come together and we work well, together. I'm looking forward to leaving the, uh, the Marineville here and heading down to the Alley Rock and see some more friends and maybe have some fresh food like they served the last time I was here. It was great. I don't know how much food will be down there, but we're going to go find out. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Daryl. You got you, man. And thank you, folks. And thank you, Joe. And let's see if we can, uh, come on, man. I think he can get some votes down here. Let's do it. Hey, Joe, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the West T-shirt. She's going to give me another shirt. Do I get to keep the shirt no matter what? Perfect. Okay, I am standing with one of the bud girls. You are. Sasha. We need to Sasha see Kathy from Oh, you're local. Hey, all right, a local bud girl. Now I saw you dropping down the t-shirt. Yep. They're wet. Yeah. I'm assuming we're doing something with them. Yeah, What's the deal? We're, we're having a wet t-shirt contest. Um, the t-shirts have been tied in many knots, and they've been soaking in a bucket of water. And 
everybody will line up behind a t-shirt and you have to untie all of the knots and put the t-shirt on and whoever does that first wins and what you win is you win the t-shirt that you have unknotted and you win a boarding pass to get a chance to win for the cruise okay i want to do that you're in. all right thank you all right that sounds fair okay thank you sasha Nice, nice, really. Katie Perry falling from the You know what? One, two, three, go. Watch the Colts of Battle on PC to read. Woo! Hey! Thank you. Is this hard? Okay, so I can't untie a wet t shirt. <laughs> that wasn't too good on my part, was it? Okay, great. Oh, well, it's about having fun. I think um, we're going to move from Marinaville. And head for downtown Brownville for our normal Paltz so Long Gallery Walk Run. So we're going to shut it down for a minute and see you down on Main Street. Follow us there. Now I can't decide. Well, well, Captain, a decision. Who's picking now? You can always count on it. Yeah, some of our artists came down and just kind of did this. That looks good. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of talent here, which is unleashed in cases like this when there's a need. One of the things I like to do is try to wherever there's a. <laughs> We got an opening for somebody to have some help. These are all too good. But, but here you go. Here's a couple. Here's a candidate. Kevin. Hey, let me. Okay. All righty. Uh, so here we are. We're walking around on the gallery walk. And lo and behold, we found a candidate for the District 3 seat. Uh, Kate. A lot of signs popped up today. Did you deliver signs today? Delivered signs. Actually, my mom and dad are my sign coordinators, and they got them all up. Oh, well, there's a bunch of them out. I've seen a few of them out there. you got the white ones with green lettering, is it? Or blue? Green folks. Oh, yeah. That's right. That makes sense. Um, so, listen, tell us a little bit about what are some of the things you're going to that you want to bring as a state rep uh, for the Brattleboro District Team. One of the things I want to do is um, bring a voice for Brattleboro and Wyndham County up to Montpelier. Um, and join with the people, the delegation that we have going up to Montpelier already. Because I think sometimes what happens is people in Montpelier forget that we are down here. Um, and, yeah. and luckily we have um, Peter Schell, who's a governor. Obviously he's from this county, so it's a particularly good time with him being governor. And we can bring a strong voice to see what we can do for Brattleboro. Very true. Um, and, you know, you, uh, I think you can hit the ground running. I mean, you've got a lot of experience, maybe not as an elected official, but um, when I first was elected, you were the governor's um, administrative, uh, whatever, I don't forget what you call it, but it was you. I, 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 I saw you an awful lot. So that should be quite a benefit, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. You know, I was I worked for Howard Dean for his entire 11 and a half years ago as he was governor. So I spent a lot of time in the state house. And I also grew up in the state house because when I was four, my dad was elected the state rep. My kids absolutely loved coming up there. And, um, and they enjoyed it. It was such a nice atmosphere. They behaved themselves because I didn't want to run around. I mean, it is a respectful place to be in. But they absolutely loved it. They came up during breaks and stuff. And loved it. Um, so it, it, uh, let's see. You have a primary then. So everybody, so it's up to, it, so folks, you're going to have to make a decision on August 28th. Is that right? August 28th is a primary. But you can start voting on July 16th for early vote. Yep. All you got to do is call the town office. You can't get any easier than that. There is no excuses for people not to vote anymore. Okay, thanks an awful lot for taking a little time, and uh, good luck to you. You you are running against Tristan, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, some people can get out and vote. It'd be nice if it was reflective and not just like you know a couple hundred people. All right, very good. Thanks, Kate. So I'm standing here with Daryl. It's Daryl and Daryl. Daryl, how you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Now, are you, can you vote now? Yes. Are you registered? I am. You are? Yes. Hey, Vince, what district do you live in? I live in Hansdale. Oh, okay, Hansdale. That's right, you're across the river. Oh, well, that wrecked all that. Hey, listen, say hi to Mom. 
Hi, Mom. <laughs> well, she's not here. Well, she's not in my house. She's actually out in the garden. Yeah, but she's going to watch it. Maybe. All right. See you later, Daryl. Take care, man. You too, man. When he gets over here, okay? And I want, I think you've done it before. You look familiar. Have you done Watch the Pulse of Brattleboro on BCTV before? See? Because you look familiar. Get right here. This is what you got to say. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go one, two, three. When I point to you, okay, you're going to hold When I point to you, you all got to be around Because I need you to do it loud. All right, you ready? Okay. One. The Pulse. Watch the Pulse of Brattleboro on BCTV. One. On BCTV. Two. Three. Go. Watch the Pulse of Brattleboro on BCTV. Yay! Okay, what's your name? Allegra. How old are you? 13. I'm Elias and I'm 14. Ben and I'm 14. I'm Kelsey and I'm 13. Eli, I'm 13. LaShawn and I'm 14. Braxton, and I'm 14. Nick, I'm 14. Hey, Nick. Katie, I'm 13. All right, thank you all very much. <laughs> All right, here we are inside one of the sponsors, Vermont Art Artisan Design, and we are with Greg uh, Warden, who I think most people know, and uh, who is the owner of uh, this great establishment. Um, or it might, well, you are the owner, Bridget's the boss, that's right. Okay, I just want you know, I, 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 I want to get it right. Um, so, Greg, what do you got going on? Uh, it's Gallery Walk uh, today. I know when this is on, people won't be able to uh, come in, but who do we got? We've got some great new things, Joe. Uh, we've got some fantastic wood carving by a fellow named them? Dominic Cobal no, from up in northern Vermont. Some things you just won't believe that you'll see as far as the intricacy of his carving. That That's upstairs. Why don't, why don't we take a walk? Yeah, we let's can do go, that. Let's go up there and start it up. Yeah, Joe, can you come along? Yeah, Joe, we'll let Joe take a picture. He'll follow us. And we'll uh, go up there. That way you can explain it while we're looking at it. And people get a better sense of what it is that we're talking about when they can actually see it. And it sounds like it is pretty interesting, so. Oh, my God, is it nice in here? Oh, my God, great. <laughs> Question, Barbara? <laughs> okay.
Okay. So now we're in the, uh, well, one of the many art rooms in the upstairs part of the gallery. Uh, and this is where you got the wood sculptors. These are really nice, Greg. They're a little bit different, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, I've never really seen anything quite so intricate that's made in Vermont. These are done by a fellow by the name of Dominic Koval up in Lake Elmore. And what he's done, he's taken, and for the most part, he's using um, poplar, and he's carving all this detail in poplar. He's taken three boards here and put together and then carved all this image out. This one is called the bonnet. She's got an owl and another bird on her bonnet, and another one circling overhead here. But just the detail of all the foliage and everything around it is pretty amazing. One over here um, horse is, is real. It's called Eclipse. That's a horse, and he's used the natural grain of the wood to uh, give definition to the horse's face and yeah. the body. It looks so realistic. This one, he's carved little butterflies. Um, Which I like the color. Yeah, you know, there's a little bit of zip of color on this one. The uh, one here is called Four Sisters. You've got three women plus this cat down here. And somebody said earlier, said, hmm, that fourth sister's kind of catty. But <laughs> it was pretty bad pun. But, <laughs> but again, the detail is pretty amazing. Uh, the face of the cat um, and all the border around. And then uh, you'd seen the dragons over here. This is uh, two dragons. This dragon is carved in basswood. And Dominic said that uh, basswood, this is the only basswood carving he's done. And it's really too soft for what he wants to accomplish. But when you look at the detail in here, it's amazing that he was able to get that much detail in, in uh, the basswood carving. Yeah but you get two dragons completely and the wings are all separate texture and everything. It's just, you know, it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's really something that is interesting to take a look at. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's really interesting just getting around into the face and stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, who is playing the music? We got a little of him earlier. Okay, that's, that's John Matthew. He's a 14 year old who's a little prodigy of... Yeah, we've got him, we've had him before, <laughs> so. We've had him before. I he's just around. Him yeah, he's done done really well, and he's practicing every every day and more and more, and he'll get better and better as we go along. Sounds good. We've got one other thing I wanted to tell you Okay, let's go. About. You want to tell her or show us? I want to show you. Okay, let's do it quick. Sorry. I'm just trying to cue him to do the microphone. <laughs> which, which one? we seen that. Sound bites. Oh, I haven't seen this one. This is different. Yeah, because we, we have seen the flying pigs before. Oh, and look what he used. And he used brake things or whatever that to, mm -hmm. something to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is David Lang. And, um, and did he do all of these? He did the pigs and then he's got the bird. Oh, well, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, this is David Lang's work. Um, he did the pigs, which are called the swine flu, F-L-E-W. Yeah. And he also did uh, the other wings down there called Daedalus, on the other hand, which is uh, take off on the legend about Icarus who flew too high yep. and melted his wings. Yep. Daedalus was his father, and Daedalus, on the other hand, survived. Uh, the other over here that you were looking at, these are hand cranks. These are by Bruce Campbell, who's here in town, and they motion, they fly as well. The bird flies and the um, little seahorse you know, has activity going, so. Hey, that's my team. <laughs> All right. Thank you for taking time yeah, to yeah. No sweat, Greg. Thanks an awful lot. Thanks for sponsoring Thank the show. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All righty, man. Always welcome. Okay, here we are in front of the Vermont Artisan. And uh, one more thing I wanted to tell you folks, it's a little bit slow today for Gallery Walk, to be honest with you. Don't you think, Joe? Yeah, Joe says, yeah, it is a little slower. But listen, um, there's going to be a fundraiser for the Wyndham County Heat Fund starting around August. If you're gonna need a new wood stove or any type of a new heating element, new stove, chimney work, something like that, uh, Friends of the Sun is gonna be doing a um, month long special for every stove, uh, fireplace, whatever that they sell. They are gonna donate a certain amount to the Wyndham County Heat Fund and we're very excited about that. 
There's going to be a lot more details coming up, and we will keep you informed. But I just wanted to put that in everybody's, uh, uh, just get it on the radar so that you know. If you're looking for, uh, if you're going to be wanting to replace that old stove, hold off. <laughs> Wait until about uh, another month. Go to Friends of the Sun and see Gary. And uh, Gary would be more than happy to help you out. And we get a small donation from that sale. So we want to thank Gary and everybody at Friends of the Sun for that. And uh, we'll be giving you more details as they arise. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, so listen, Gallery Walk, phew, not a lot happening today. I think this was the one we take the time off. Uh, a little slow. A lot of kids running around there. They were there today. So listen, we're going to end the segment right now. But uh, we're going to bring you the uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears uh, softball tournament. So stay tuned for that. It's going to come as soon as I'm done yammering to you right here. So don't turn that dial, folks, okay? Blood, Sweat, and Tears tournament coming right up. We'll see you. Okay, it's Saturday afternoon, and here we are at the uh, Glove, Sweat, and Cheers tournament that's been going on for quite some time. We're going to try and see if we can talk to a few people. I know Jill's out here playing right now. We'll see if we can talk to her, get a little bit about it. It's been going on for a long time. I just thought maybe we should come over here and give it a little support and uh, let people know what's going on. So uh, Joe's going to get a little bit of the action out here on the field. We'll talk to a few people. And... Um, you know, gives you a little bit of a sense on what goes on on the weekends over here at Memorial Park, too. We got the pool is open. It's a overcast day, but the pool is open. And uh, we got some people in there, too. But anyway, we'll talk to a few people and talk about what this means to the area and who gets the funding and things like that. So just follow us and watch a little bit of the action. What's that? I said you get all dressed up like the cameraman. Oh, did you see? I came specially prepared. I didn't want to be overdressed on this one. I did not want to be overdressed. I came in the sporting out. Hey, speaking of Connecticut. Oops, I say it. Mitchell College. My kid plays lacrosse for Mitchell College in New London. Yeah, he loves it down there. It's unbelievable. Okay, we ready, Joe? He's probably been already going here. Okay, we are standing with... This is my sister's team, came up from Thomaston, Connecticut. And uh, we got a bunch of other girls around from up here in Brattle Road to help them out because they couldn't bring a full team. And we're waiting for our next game. All right, and how are they doing so far? We uh, have been slightly misslotted into a <laughs> division. <laughs> yeah, you were in an A division? We're, well, what they're calling the C division. Yeah, this team come out of town, they're, they're getting everybody, so. Yeah. We're going to do good the next game, though. Yeah. 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 No, there's a yeah. D division is coming up soon. Okay, my daughter might be up there. She plays on this thing. How, how long of, uh, of uh, I mean, when we were just hanging out and talking, this team's been up here several times, so. Several. Probably five or six times. We've won the tournament several times, also. They've gone home, they stop in Greenfield, they show the people in McDonald's the trophy. Well, wait a minute, next time, stop at Burger King. Okay, show them the trophy. Because we want the business in Vermont. Right. 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 Burger King's on the way. Right out of town. Okay, I'm going to just ask you guys for your names, where you're from real quick, okay? We'll start with you. I'm going to wait till my camera guy gets in position. Oh, I know, they look like they're the hardcore all-star team. Okay, your name? My name is Dawn Tomaszewski. Wow. Yeah, and I am from Thompson, Connecticut. Excellent. And how long have you played on the team? Uh, I've been on the team for several years now. Yeah. Yes. So you've been up here before? Yes, I have. Beautiful. Yes. And you are? Caroline Wilson, and I'm from Thomaston, Connecticut. And I think it's our sixth or seventh year. Yeah, and you won it, you said? Yes. That was great. Woo! Champion several times. Uh, you guys come back. And you are? Jocelyn Preston, Thomas and Seneca, and I have been playing for three four years. And you are? I'm Sheila Bomer. I'm from Naugatuck, Connecticut, and I've been up here all the years that we've played. Are you playing too? I am, believe it or not. Well, that's 
No, that's great. And that's the thing about softball. Okay. Is that your sister? That's your sister? Oh, you know what? Now I can see a little more. There, there we go. There isn't? I think there is. You got the nose, number one. I would start with the nose. I would start with the smile as number two. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for taking a minute and good luck. I hope you don't beat my daughter's team, but have fun. Which I don't know what her team is. Thanks, Gerald. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> Take care. I'll tell you one thing. Seriously, oh, Joe Bush, you team. haven't hit like that all season. This team right and here. And you missed it. Put some hits out. Oh, yeah, they do. These guys. Is this They're the great. They're all the way from Burlington. They came all the way down from That's Burlington. My home. Yeah. My home. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hey. Gonna, I'm glad you were out here. I didn't see you out on the field. But anyway, Cindy, yes, uh, sir. how are you doing? I am doing great. What, did you just come in and score after that great hit? I didn't score after the great hit, but we have two runs on the board, and that's better than we've done so far today, so <laughs> we're happy with that. I've talked to only two teams so far, and you both must not be doing very well. Are you playing but the you same know what? team? The thing is, the thing is, it really doesn't matter because everybody's here to raise money for the Women's Freedom that's Center right. anyway, so it really about... doesn't matter how good we do on the field. And let's talk, because that's what I wanted to kind of do. I, I, I thought maybe we'd come over here and give it a little bit of a boost, you know, and, sure. and, and show a little bit on TV, you know, sure. what's going on to the local people. Because this has been something that's been going on for a long, long time. 18 years. And, this is our 18th year. Did it start year. because of Dot Nelson or did she There was a different tournament, but Dot was also involved in getting this tournament okay. going a while ago. that's what I remember. Yep. And, and I, you know, she she meant something to me. I like the lady, and we go way back from the bowling alley days and her daughter, Lori. So she was, wanted, a, she was instrumental in getting the Women's Softball League started. Oh, that Brown might have been it then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And well, she was involved in this. So this is our 18th year of holding this softball tournament. And every year we raise a little bit more money. We're hoping to raise about five grand this year, and that's all unrestricted funds, and it all goes to the Women's Freedom Center. And it's all raised from teams like this, driving far and paying some money, playing some entry fees. Yeah. It's all raised by spy, people buying those beautiful t-shirts over and there. they are nice, by the Aren't way. Aren't they nice? And it's, it's good that you didn't put a date on them. Because now you <laughs> I know. We can sell them next them. year. That's right. We also do a 50-50 raffle. And right now, that's up to the pot's up over 700 bucks. Oh, wow. I know. And there's a dance tonight, Saturday night, down at the Stone Church. And we're going to have snacks and food and beer and wine and dance. And everybody who's been playing against each other all day are going to get together and have fun. And does it end today? No, we have okay, more games that's tomorrow. What that's what I thought. Ball all day, dance all night, ball all day tomorrow. There you go. Sleep on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you can do that. Unless you got to work, get up early. No. Well, you know, I think it's a good thing, and it is a tournament that's been going on for a long time. Yeah. Brings teams from all up. We, we just interviewed a team from Connecticut. Connecticut. We got one from Burlington. We got one from Burlington. This year, there were a couple of teams that didn't make it, but we usually have teams that come up from Massachusetts. We have a Rhode Island team, and we have a second Connecticut team that comes as well. And it was just a matter of timing and some family things. But some of the teams that have been involved are coming back year after year. That Connecticut team, I think this is like their fifth year. Yeah, they were saying sixth or seventh. And yeah. they've won it a couple times. Yes, they have. So yes, they have. That's great. And and um, you've raised some money for a good cause. And like you said, unrestricted funds. So they don't, you know, they get to use it how they do fit. Which is sometimes those organizations need that. And the important thing is, like, this whole thing is being run by volunteers. I mean, that's right over there is Vicki Sterling. She's the executive director of the Women's Freedom yep. Center. She's volunteering, keeping score. We've got volunteers working this whole tournament, keeping it going. So thank you guys for coming out and giving us some uh, coverage. And anybody seeing this at home, come out tomorrow. We're starting the games at 10. We're going to be playing until about 3. Okay? Well, just to let you know, yeah. we're not live. We tape our stuff, but that was good. <laughs> okay. Hey, so all of you, when you see this, we are on a little bit of a tape delay. Don't rush out to come see him tomorrow, okay? <laughs> We're on a slight little tape, <laughs> tape delay. Thanks for giving hey, us the Cindy. coverage. Yeah, you bet. And Cindy, I know you volunteer in a lot of things, and like most things that happen in this town, it doesn't happen without a whole bunch of volunteers. No, it doesn't. So no, thanks doesn't. for what you do. Oh, my pleasure. Have fun. Guys, have a good day. Give another good hit. We'll try and get it. All right, thanks. We're going to go talk to the... I know you're going to have to try to pay attention. So, can you kind of pay attention and just answer a couple little questions? I will so try to do that. All right. We're going to be on BCTV, just to let you know. And, I, and we came down because I do want to promote this. This is such a great tournament. Yeah. And that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. Uh, Vicki Sterling. I'm one of the co directors of the Women's Freedom Center. 
And this tournament does an awful lot of good for what you guys do. It certainly does. It really does. And it also celebrates women and their strength and um, athleticism. And it's just so much fun, too. It is. It is. It's a great tournament. Been going on a long time. Yeah. Glad to see you here supporting it. <laughs> uh, and it looks like you're having a pretty good time, too. I'm I see you smiling time. and laughing it's back great. here. Is this your first year doing this? Actually, no, it's not. It's my third year scorekeeping. I'm, I'm oh, then you're going to be a year. professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you go because this is an important uh, yeah. job. But I wanted to kind of put a face on, on what it is that you guys do. Yeah, too, we so, so appreciate it. Thank you for coming right, out and, and filming this. Thank you. Yeah, another good hit. Wow. Yeah, There's some good nice. hitters. Oh, nice job. All right, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She's out. Got it. Oh, darn. Did they catch that? 22. Oh, my God. Somebody else yeah. first. She's yeah. out. Yeah. That's a real good hit. Go, Mrs. Darling. Come on, Patty I'm from Johnson. Feel so did you just have a game up there? Yeah, I'm nice hit, Bridget. Nice hit, Bridget. Bridget. Tony. Tony? Come Who's here. Tony? Quick. <laughs> Run. Just relax. Relax. <laughs> you can. <laughs> See? She was all ready to go, too. She was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, here we are. We ready, Joe? So I am standing with? Amber. And? Leanne. And Leanne, uh, here we are at the tournament here. Is this your first year, or you've been doing this for a while? Uh, I've been doing this for a while. Have you? I see you're on uh, Amber's team. I am. Or Amber's on your team. Uh, how 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 you how's the team doing today? We won both games. No. Well, you guys. And are that's in good the hunt, for us because we're not doing so well for the season. <laughs> yeah, I like the way you caught that. Okay, I like that. Because at one time I said that word. And that I got a comment on. <laughs> Somebody didn't think it was a good word to use, but I hate. I mean, come on. So, Amber, are you getting any hits? Big hits? Um, I got some good base hits. Yeah. Any RBIs? Yeah. You know I'm a stag guy when it comes to you, right? Right. <laughs> Did you run fast? Uh, n no, Dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, uh, and you've been playing this. Uh, how many times have? Uh, how many years you've been doing this? Uh, a few. I don't know exactly how many. Have you ever won it? Yes. Yes. We were you yeah. did? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to go get the picture of some of the past winners. And I didn't know that. Wow, congratulations. And you got a shot at it again this year. Uh, yeah, we do. All right. Well, listen, thanks for talking to me for a second. <laughs> go get them. Uh, and um, thanks for being part of the tournament. Oh, Ciao. Okay. Yep. Past winners, as you can see, Joe's getting them now. I am so observant, nothing gets by me. Okay, hey, we hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of the Pulse. It was a little slow gallery walk. We got a few other things happening right here. This was uh, this has been going on a long time, the Glove, Sweat, and Cheers uh, tournament. So I wanted to get a little bit of that and show the folks what's going on here. Um, a lot of women come to play some softball. I don't know, there's over a dozen teams, and they come out here and compete for the weekend, and uh, they have a lot of fun doing it. And um, So we wanted to show that a little bit, too. Uh, and like I said, Gallery Walk was a little slow last night, so we had to fill in with uh, the Marina Ville and, you know, just hang out. And that's what you get on the pulse, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and uh, sometimes a little bit of... Uh, but anyway, we're glad you're out there watching. Uh, a couple things I just want to say again. I know I mentioned it already in the show, but two things. Number one, uh, the Diamond Stones uh, need your help if you can. 
Um, the Wyndham County Heat Fund has set up a special fund for the Diamond Stones. And on the bottom of the memo section, if you just put Wyndham County Heat Fund in the memo section, put Diamond Stone Fund, you can drop the donation off at the uh, Brattleboro Savings and Loan. And, um, you know, that'll help them out a lot. They need every. They don't have anything. To and the other thing I'd like to say, I know it's in July and it's hot, but look for the upcoming fundraiser for the Wyndham County Heat Fund itself. We need to start raising money for this coming winter season. And Gary Goodmo over at Friends of the Sun has stepped up and will donate $25 for every uh, stove and fireplace and stuff he sells during the month of August. So, whole, you know, if you need one, get it then, folks. You'll be helping us out an awful lot. Oh, excuse me. And um, anyway, we want to make sure we thank our sponsors. Uh, Vermont Artisan Design, the Marina Restaurant, and our new sponsor, Champs, right there on uh, Canal Street. Go and visit them. Uh, and when you go in, tell them all thanks for sponsoring this show, the Pulse of Brattleboro. We couldn't do it without their help. So, for my cameraman, Joe, Joe, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Joe. Okay, there's Joe. He's getting a little high. He's been standing behind his camera, and it is a little warmer out here than I thought. So, for me, Daryl Pillsbury, for my cameraman, Joe, we'll see you right here next time on the Pulse of Brattleboro. Let's go!